welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Exclusive. Yeah, breaking news. Uh, concerning Namdekano's uh, case, uh, the three justices on appeal uh, court panel transferred four days after discharging Kano. <laughs> okay, earlier this month, IPOB leader, Indigenous People of Biafra, Mazen Namdekano was discharged and acquitted by the appeal court. The three judges that sat on the appeal panel that uh, acquitted him from the 15 count uh, terrorism charge. Uh, the federal government laid against him has been transferred to their various uh, divisions, uh, deficiencies. But I don't really understand. Transfer them for why? I don't really understand. Why were they brought in and why would they be transferred? Let's continue and see what uh, this uh, federal government or this present uh, dispensation led by Muhammad Buhari. You know, they are trying to, you know, tell us a wrong narrative and to teach us how to you know govern how to run a democracy well the investigation uh, revealed that uh, four days after they delivered the judgment had uh, discharged uh, the ipop leader uh, the three judges uh, jumai anatu sanki oludotun ade sokpe okoje biowei toby uh, were transferred okay okay it maintained that uh, the appeal court acted in hero by striking out uh, the charges that against a canon the indigenous people of Biafra leader I pop on the premise that the trial judge no longer had the uh, jurisdiction to handle the uh, situation uh, this made the federal government uh, through the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice uh, prayed uh, the apex court uh, to the interim uh, the justice Minister of Justice and uh, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, has uh, suspended the execution of the uh, Court of Appeal verdict pending the hearing and uh, determination of its uh, appeal. Okay. Uh, because uh, if I would uh, check uh, the antecedent of this federal government, I already have said it that uh, they have they do not have uh, the interest of uh, the uh, people they, uh, they, they, they govern as heart. Like they say, uh, saying uh, Namdekanu was uh, extraordinary and uh, rendered back to Nigeria, or rather kidnapped. And uh, meanwhile, the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, who uh, is uh, Abu Bakar Malami, has been so very, very on the timeline and also was has been on the time bomb. And uh, he has been, you know, indicting and shooting himself on the leg as gradual as possible. Because in Namdekanu's case, uh, uh, let's come to think of it, Namdekanu is a dual citizen. Yes, he is a citizen of uh, England, or rather British, and also a Nigerian. Now, acting uh, solely on uh, your own verdict, acting solely on your own uh, jurisdiction, or rather on your own... Uh, uh, prudence. Uh, if I uh, is prudent in his or diligent in his work, it will have been a different case. But uh, Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakar Malami, has been acting uh, as if he has never, you know, studied law and does not know what law simply means. Because yeah, I believe he's the one, you know, in charge of uh, the justice. Uh, he's he the one in charge of, uh, you know, anything coming through either from Buhari. Or from the public, because as it is, I would say, um, Minister of Justice, Abu Bakar Malami, is also the Attorney General of the Federation. So two portfolios, and uh, whenever Buhari goes out and come back after borrowing money, he brings it back, and he will, Buhari gullibly will say, hey, "I go and collect money is on record." I come and give out money is on record. Then who are the people giving? Uh, who are the people he, is, he has been giving money to? I don't know. He will not come. Uh, I hand over to our Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakar Malami, because he said he is on record. According to Buhari, anything he does is on record. And uh, if anything is on record, and as it is, uh, if the public and the Nigerian uh, citizens do not understand, do not know why. Uh, the money is being spent on how the money is being spent or wherever it's, the money is coming from until the oh now the debtors are coming back to collect their money that is when nigerians or the people will now understand that ah 
so they can borrow money or they have borrowed a huge half uh, a huge, a huge large numbers of money but that's not the narrative now now in the area of justice because if they say justice for one is justice for all and um i don't know why they have held in the in american captive for a while and now what is even happening because i saw in one headline earlier that that, that headline was saying in the american is ill or something ailment but i can't really picture why this federal government at this present one, this boy for the led administration is acting this way. Well, thank God they've been served a, a letter of arrest from International Criminal Court. Pending the time uh, they will leave office because the power of a cubency is still there. So that is why it seems uh, the government is still running. But notwithstanding, this is another case whereby you are holding captive a citizen of uh, United Kingdom and also Nigeria. So if um, the Benin Republic have not done, you know, the needful and they have not really, really followed justice as, as it is or as it were, that means uh, Sunday Bo would have been, you know, brought back to Nigeria and still held captive. And uh, as a dual citizen, either from Germany and Nigeria, uh, so German or Jam the Jam government, government of Germany will still want to, you know, invade or want to know what's up. Uh, but they already know what, what it is and uh, that is why Nam Dikanu, uh, it's still there. It's not like they don't have a power to come and, you know, take him away. But what they want to do is that since Namikano originated from Nigeria and by birth is from Nigeria, they still want the government to do the needful and know what is right and what is wrong. Now, people are commenting. So many Nigerians are, gr are grounded, you know, under anger and they want to pour out their anger. Well, according to Sam Sikvavwe, he says that the judges should not be worried about the transfer. The law will compensate them for upholding the truth. Their children will see favor in the eyes of God. Uh, well, uh, that is uh, what somebody is saying. And uh, this is more reason Nigeria needs to be rescued in the hand of APC or Fulani. And uh, I don't know. So, Oshiba Johan Emechi together with Tunubu and Fulani, I don't really know. Well, he whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. Uh, greatest uh, was a truthful uh, judgment because none of the appeal called named and transferred was from Igbo. Truth, no matter how deep it was, buried beneath the earth must surely uh, surface. That is what it is. That the truth must be told. Transfer is a normal thing in government. Well, uh, the narrative now is uh, why were they transferred and uh, why uh, and how or where do, do they, why, where were they transferred to or thereabout? Because the question is hanging and concerning the in Americano's case. Well, the three justices on appeal hall panel transferred four days after discharging Kano. Well, who transferred them? Because earlier this month, I probably that Mazen Americano was discharged and acquitted, but by the appeal court. The three judges that sat on the happy panel that acquitted him from the 15th count terrorism charge the federal government laid against him has been transferred. So there are various uh, divisions. Uh, the investigation revealed that four days after they delivered the judgment that discharged the IPOB leader, uh, the three judges, uh, Jumai, Anatu, Sanki, Olu Dotson, Adetokbae, Okoje, uh, Ebiowe, uh, Toby, and uh, also uh, it's been transferred and were transferred uh, as it is and uh, they do not have any submission any longer than to have discharged and acquitted uh, in vote if in Abdicano is being discharged and acquitted what is this state doing in the custody of the DSS